All right, guys. Today, I want to talk to you about your health as a developer, and that sounds a little kind of strange. It's like, well, you know, we're not like heavy lifting 50 pound bags of cement or anything like that. So why why are we talking about this? What is what is well, sitting is actually really bad for you, uh, especially for long periods of time. And so I've been a developer about 10 months now, and but before that I worked a desk job at a software company for about nine months. And it's the first time I've ever had a job in which the majority of the job I am sitting down, the majority of the job I'm not really moving or doing anything physical. And uh, for the last six months I haven't been, been exercising really. And uh, part of that is you know hand injuries and whatnot, um, but part of it's also just not putting a value of importance on it like I should. So, um, recently I had to go to the chiropractor because I had um, uh, back pain, lower back pain. And it's directly caused by me sitting down too much. And part of it is the, the your, your hips tighten up by the lack of movement, right? You're not, you're not bobbing and weaving anymore. You're just kind of chilling, sitting and chilling, right? And so, uh, I had to go to the chiropractor, and it helped a lot. I, I got, like, a group on, and, you know, it's like, three visits for, like, 45 bucks, and I have two more to go, and my back already feels much better. And um, I forget what he said. There was a technical term for a pinch nerve that he had mentioned, but uh, it's all from the tightness in my legs and the tightness specifically in my, my hamstrings and my joints and or my inner, inner thighs. And so part of the things that you should be doing as you work these developer jobs is, one, you need to be kind of going on walks constantly about every hour if you can, right? I probably do it once every three. You know, I go into work. I walk down to get a banana at the grocery store. I... You know, uh, lunch, I walk around for lunch. I don't just eat in the building. I then, uh, you know, midday, I go grab like a hot dog on the street corner. Though I'm not doing that anymore because I'm trying to get a little healthier. So I'm going to go walk and get an apple or something. But that's one, that, that, even doing something like that, that wasn't enough. So uh, one thing that I do in my, in my personal life is I have my standing desk, which we're on right now. It's automated, goes up and down. Now, if you can't afford an automated one because they aren't cheap, right? I think I spent $400 on this. There are standing desks that are much cheaper. You can get a standing desk new for about 100 bucks, maybe $150. Um, and maybe you can find one even cheaper than that on Craigslist or something like that. But the reason that you have a standing desk is, you know, you can kind of bob and weave back and forth. You can kind of stretch out. It's a little more tiring, uh, but it's tiring because you're actually doing something. So that's one thing that you can do. But definitely be aware of it because it is, it is something that I don't think people put enough emphasis on is their health as a developer because we're not meant to be sitting in chairs, even a comfy one, right? Like that's, that chair is pretty comfy. We're, that's not what we're meant for as in terms of like our body design. And so we have to really take care of ourselves in that fashion or else, like I, I'm not kidding, I've, been, I've had back pain for three weeks non-stop and it's much it's still here even after my visit but things that I've been doing I've been trying to solve this issue about my health as a, as a developer uh, I can't lift right now because I think I fractured my hand I'm getting that checked out which is part of, the, part of the reason I haven't been working out and so what have I been doing I've been swimming uh, so if you have a pool in your apartment complex or at your house you know that's one thing that's pretty easy where you can start off doing 15 20 minutes a day, uh, which is what I do for the last 10 days, I've been swimming for about 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, it's probably the most I get out of the house, to be honest with you, besides, <laughs> besides work and like going to Walmart to pick up shit, uh, and Ikea. Uh, but that's one thing. I've also started jogging around the complex and it kind of sucks because my back is, was spasming at the time quite a bit, but that's another thing I, I've been, I guess the point I'm trying to communicate is there's a bunch of ways that you can't continue to exercise and be be in shape and be fit, but it's up to you to to um, consciously and actively make that decision to do such things. You're not just going to be able to just hope that things get better. You have to act actively go and do it, kind of like learning code, right? You're not just going to learn code if you don't code. 
and uh, all the time, right? So it's just actively kind of think about what it is that you want to do and do it before it gets worse. The, the sciatica, that's what it's called, sciatica. So when I went to the chiropractor, he said, how long has this been going on? And I said, three weeks. He's like, it's really good that you came to me in three weeks because the longer that you wait to solve these issues, the longer the treatment is and the more the more... The more time consuming and the more difficult it becomes in making sure that that you aren't that you we're, we're solving this all the same. And so uh, you know, sciatica is nothing big; it's a pinched nerve. But a lot of this stuff can get worse. And I feel myself getting up from chairs, and my late my thighs are tight and things like that. So I'm doing stretches at home. I'm every night before bed. I'm stretching. I would be doing yoga once my my hand gets healed, but all the handstands and everything. So be active with your health as a developer and as someone who's not i'm not like a heavy set dude by any means I'm, I'm six foot i weigh 180 185 pounds and i'm having i'm having issues I, i've been pretty active my whole life uh in terms of going to the gym for the most part and you know occasional snowboard trip and stuff like that i would be worried if i went snowboarding right now that i may not come back in one piece and that's not okay so Especially as we get older, right? I'm 29 years old. I'm getting a little bit older. Probably pretty young compared to most people's standards. But but it's only... The, the more that you don't worry about your health while you're younger, the worse the repercussions are going to be when you're older. And that's when you don't want that, right? So, like, like when you're younger, you can kind of give a shit about whatever because you're young and things will kind of fall into place and you'll, you'll bounce back. Not so much. Every year, you're getting closer to that, hey, it's harder to bounce back. And so if you're, if you're sitting down for several hours at a time, start thinking about how you, start thinking about how you need to, um, how you need to, what, what, how, how you're going to counteract that inactivity. And a couple different ways are eating healthy and exercising, but don't, don't just say I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to exercise. That's, that's, a, that's the problem with goals is you need to, you need to set Okay, so that's your over overview. That's your goal. But how are you going to accomplish that goal? And until you do that, you're not going to do that. For me, I said I'm going to start jogging. I'm going to start swimming. And uh, after my, my hand gets fixed and I get checked out in about a week, I'm going to uh, re-enroll in yoga when I can. So th these are things that I'm, I'm going to actively be doing. And it's not just like, okay, I'm going to exercise and eat healthy. No, that's not good enough. How are you going to accomplish that? It goes for all goals as well. So definitely just be aware that that you sitting at a desk is really bad for you and you need to be counteracting that. And I, I haven't. I haven't. And I've been suffering the, the consequences for it now. And I'm trying to play catch up. And luckily I'm, I'm still uh, fairly young that I can't, right? So I'm, I'm doing my stretching and all everything I mentioned. But I be aware that even if you're younger than me, Older than me, you should definitely be listening. <laughs> so, if you're younger than me though, and you're saying, "Oh fuck, man, this this old 29 year old, he's 16," you say, "This is grandfather motherfucker over here, I don't need to listen to him. My hips are fine." Uh, but uh, what I'm trying to say, guys, is just be aware that you do need. You only have one body, right? And you need to take care of it. And uh, sometimes I know I've ignored my my body in the in the goal of being a, a developer and trying to work really hard. And if there's ways that you can sort of counteract that uh, through exercise and eating, start implementing it now rather than later. That's the point of this video. But uh, as always, guys, uh, I love to hear your points of view about this stuff. What are you doing uh, as developers to counteract that? Leave it in the comments below. And if you want to support me on Patreon, that's cool. But join our Facebook group and our Discord channel. All those links are in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope that... You're all staying motivated, working hard, and that uh, you're not getting back issues like my old ass. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.